this is where we where it all comes from a standard belay carabiner for attaching the rope to the harness like uh, mantra hitch fixing the belay device whatever using it on the belay this is standard hot forge carabiner with a with a screw gate if you have belay device like this or like this or a grig whatever you have it in there you have it fixed you want to turn the carabiner it's not possible the same you have on the on the on the belay if you have it in the bolt hanger and you want to turn it it's not possible because you have always the the barrel there so we wanted to improve this with the strike slider it's the same carabiner the same body and it's it's a locking carabiner but the locking mechanism is just here the slider device so you slide it down and you can open it it's a very tiny piece it's strong it's also from steel because you can press here with 100 kilograms so 1 kn to the to the bar and it does not open and it's uh, it's depressed inside the gate so it's, uh, it's really hard to handle accidentally, even with a rope or with a sling. So you really have to press inside and you can open it. Still it works quite well with gloves. Even when you want to open it with a rope on the belay, you can, you can open with the rope itself. And you have the big advantage. There is no other belay carabiner on the market way or a locking carabiner on the market way you can do this. An update we already made directly last year is this one, the same locking mechanism, but the posi uh, positioning spring. So you, in case you have it in the harness and you want to use it for the belay device, you know, cross -line. But this is no, this is like standard on the market. We are not the only ones. We made an update to have this on one of our quick draw carabiners. And when you have one of those uh, bolts where you're not 100% sure, is it safe or like sometimes the, the second bolt, the first bolt is at three, the second bolt at five meter, and then you have another five meters to climb, and you don't want this bolt to unclip. So you can use this one for the, for the rope carabiner. And you have the, the quick draw hanging there, just like, like a standard quick draw, and you can clip it with the rope. The function is very easy, and still it's a locking carabiner, and to, to open this accidentally is more or less impossible. One more thing that we added this year is the strike safe lock, which is more or less a version of this carabiner. This one has the anti-twist, the anti-rotation spring and the locking mechanism in the gate. This one has the same locking mechanism here, it has the same spring here. So in case I open the slider here, the, the, the locking mechanism, I still cannot open the carabiner. I have to open the spring here as well. And there is the only carabiner on the market with that. We will have both of them. This is, this is for me the perfect carabiner for attaching the belay device to the harness. This one I would see, for example, um, attaching when, when you're top rope climbing in gym courses, very often change from one rope to the next one, just 10 meters of climbing, coming down next rope. The probability that you make a mistake when tying in is higher than the probability that this carabiner is unlocking accidentally. So it makes sense to use this carabiner there and just clip the people to the rope. Or for example, like uh, hiking on a glacier, you have to get connected to the rope with the carabiner. So you need a safe lock carabiner and there, this is the perfect carabiner to use. It happened quite often to me that I used standard carabiner like this, but on the one side, you want to have these barrels working as smooth as possible, that it's easy and fast to open and close them. But on the other side, you have them hanging here and you walk for three hours and every time you walk it touches the, the harness, it touches the rope and after a while it's open and you didn't even realize and you don't, like you said, like you don't all 10 minutes check if it's locked or not. When we designed it, it was the, the idea behind was really to make it rotatable in, in very small eyelets and uh, making it as tiny as possible and lightweight as possible. This was, a, this was more or less the only thing that we had in mind. And then last winter I was also guiding with, with 10 other mountain guides in a row like and we were climbing up a gully and we had some like thunder and bad weather and a lot of snow and ice and after after some hours like all the other locking carabiners they got stuck and frozen and in the end this was the last one that that worked and I had four of those and on every belay I said ah no pass me those they are they're working no get no no I don't want this give me that one <laughs> and then Everyone who had to lead was collecting my carabiners then and they were used on the next belay. So it wasn't planned to be, to be good in that. Actually, we didn't have it in mind. We said, yeah, okay, we see how it will perform in that, in that occasions. But yeah, even with ice and snow, it works perfectly.